Jim Sammons here, and welcome to the Kayak Fishing Show Live. As always, the Kayak Fishing Show Live brought to you by Ballast Point Brewing Company. Today I'm drinking water. Um, <laughs> I got a little bit of a cold trying to get over, and I have a bunch of stuff I have to do, so uh, no beers until later today, but uh, plenty of water. In my Jackson Kayak cup with Cigar logo. <laughs> um, want to thank uh, Brian for joining us yesterday on the show. A lot of great information. That uh, show right now is loading onto YouTube, so anybody wants to watch it there. Uh, and then I will be loading that onto the podcast later as well. Um, just remember, uh, please, if you can, uh, like. Oh, what's happening there? There we go. Like, comment, and share these things if you want the opportunity. Your guy's going to have an opportunity to win something today, so I hope uh, you can do that for us. I'm expecting a lot of shares from you guys because we got some great for stuff for you. Uh, and of course, shoot us some questions. Um, you know, the more questions we get from the audience, the better these shows are, and uh, the more information we get out there because I can't think of all the questions. Um, what else? If you're watching this as a replay, please type in replay in the comments so I know who is watching the replay later. Uh, that really helps me gauge as to you know when these things are being watched. Um, say hello to some people who are already watching. Michael, thank you for sharing, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Sean, thanks for joining us as always. Edgar, thanks for joining us. And Weiss, good to see you again, man. Um, I've got a guest on here with me today who is an old friend. Um, I have known Stacy Dunn uh, with Maui Jim Sunglasses for a very long time. Um, way before I had a TV show, uh, Stacy brought me on board with Maui Jim because I was already wearing Maui Jim Sunglasses. And Maui Jim Sunglasses, to me, are the best sunglasses available. Um, and, I don't, I, and she's gonna explain why they're the best sunglasses available. I mean, it's not even just my opinion. These are the best sunglasses available, it, hands down. Now, a little backstory. I have worn high quality sunglasses forever. I got spoiled very young. Uh, I found a pair of what then were some really, really good quality sunglasses. And from that point on, I've never wanted to wear anything but good quality glasses. And I discovered Maui Gems a long, long time ago. And uh, you won't find a picture of me, I think, kayak fishing. And I've been kayak fishing a long time not wearing Maui gyms. Um, they are just hand down the best. I mean, I, I've been through them from the days of just wearing regular Maui gyms to, you know, now wearing pres prescription uh, Maui gyms, which they do in their own labs. Um, like I said, they're, they're the best quality, best people to work with. And, you know, they're, they're still a, a single owned company, a privately owned company. They're not uh, a big corporation. Uh, they've just been fantastic to work with. But anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to bring Stacy Dunn from Maui Gym up on screen. There's Stacy. Stacy, thank you so much for uh, joining me here today. I really appreciate it. Uh, actually, I, I have Stacy's name up there, but what I should have up there is this because this is actually her title <laughs> at Maui Gym. Stacy Dunn, Sunglass. Evangelist. Uh, yeah, cheesy but effective. <laughs> yeah. And so true. I mean, I sat. I was at ICAST at a uh, an ambassadors meeting, mm -hmm. um, and that's what I am. Uh, Maui Jim doesn't sponsor my TV show, by the way. Uh, I wish they did, but they. But I. I, I can't switch glasses. I. I, I it doesn't matter. I, I, I will never switch glasses <laughs> because they're that good. So maybe they've got me over a barrel that way. But uh, I sat in a meeting with Stacy, um, and it was an hour and a half, two hour meeting or something like that. And it was packed with information about glasses. And she just talked and talked. And if you want to know anything about sunglasses, Stacy is here to tell you. I'm here to help. Aloha. And a happy Aloha <laughs> Friday. Yeah, it is yeah, Friday. It's Aloha Friday. Um, let's see. I'm just going to, can you, well, you know, actually, let, let's just start off with, you know, uh, sunglass evangelist. What, what does that mean, Stacey? What, what is a sunglass so, evangelist? For Maui Gym? My role at Maui Gym is I'm actually a corporate trainer, but I'm also like a motivational speaker. So my job is to be inspirational, motivational and educational about sunglasses and why you need to wear sunglasses 
literally every day. So uh, I speak to all sorts of retail associates, eye doctors, opticians, uh, instructors, golf professionals uh, about the need to protect your eyes from UV, ultraviolet light, and the damage that UV and HEV can cause to your eye. So uh, believe it or not, I make all that really technical stuff, hopefully fun and enjoyable. And, well, uh, yeah, it's super educational and, and entertaining. Awesome. Um, one thing like I said, I, I've been addicted to good sunglasses forever, and it's made good. a big difference to me. Uh, yes. I've, I have my eyes have gotten old. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why I wear glasses. Uh -huh. But whenever I go in for my eye appointments, that is one comment. For somebody who spends as much time in the sun as I do, mm -hmm. my eyes are actually in very great shape. Awesome. And I think that's wearing a good quality glass, you know, like my Maui gyms. Mm -hmm. And especially for anglers, you know, your sunglasses are another piece of equipment that you use. You invest in a good reel. You invest in good line. Um, your sunglasses, you should invest in your eyes and in protecting your vision for the long term as well. So that's what we are about is protecting your eyes, but also enhancing the way your eyes see. And we actually work with the anatomy of the human eye to accomplish this. So uh, look good, uh, see well. That's well, yeah. Nice. And, you know, so you have not only can you see those fish, I mean, and in areas like where we're, we're sight casting mm -hmm. uh, when I'm down in Florida or in other areas, um, sight casting to fish. Mm -hmm. I mean, a being able to see those fish better. I mean, to, to it, it makes a huge, huge difference. Yep. And I think probably one of the biggest ways that I've ever been able to do that, although it's more difficult for me now with the prescriptions, mm -hmm. is I just take my glasses off and put them on somebody else, and and all of a sudden, I'm like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, the wow factor is huge. And then kayak anglers, you guys have a different challenge because you're low in the water. So anglers, even on a flat skiff uh, or on a flying bridge, you have the advantage of height, but kayak anglers, you're lower in the water. So you have fewer visual cues than people that are up higher. So your, especially your call out to color to be able to spot grass lines, weeds, whatever, and striations in color. Uh, those things are important to you guys when you're sight casting. Um, so what, what is it though? What, what, what is it that makes Maui Jim? I mean, like I said, I, I just know that I put them on and I see better. Um, mm -hmm. But why? <laughs> well, I mean, it's as simple as, first off, when you see a Maui Jim display, you see the words polarized plus two. So, Jim, when you and I first met and when you were wearing Maui Jims originally, we were using something called polarized plus. So that was the name of our lens design. So in the old days, it was polarized. Plus, we had anti-reflective treatment. Plus, we had mirrors. So that's what the plus was, was not just the polarizing film, but the other components to the lens that enable you to see more efficiently while using less energy. So that's important. Now, Polarize Plus 2 is what we changed the name of the lens design to when we created the ability to enhance color with sunglass lenses. So you can see more color when you're wearing a Maui Jim sunglass than you can without sunglasses at all. And uh, we invented, created, developed that technology, and nobody else has it. So that's what it's all about. It's about color. And that's part of the human experience. So our thing was, if you've been to Maui, and hopefully everybody has or, or will go someday, it's super colorful. So why would you want to put on sunglasses that turn Maui or any place gray or green or brown or whatever your lens color is? So we wanted to develop technology that you could put on a gray lens, but it doesn't wash the world out and turn everything gray. So that's what the color enhancement does, is it enables you to keep color balance and actually see more color through a darkened lens. So that's what it's all right. about. Right, right. And, and the, uh, the variety of lens colors as well. Yep. Um, I mean, I love the, the HTs, particularly on mm -hmm. a crowdy, crowdy cloudy days, uh -huh. um, you know, it just, you, you still have that, that pop yeah. uh, where some lenses can see a little dark. That's why, I mean, I have a couple different pairs uh, with different lens colors, depending on the outfit. And you should. Yeah. And it, and it doesn't matter what lens color you pick. They will all fully protect you from UV. They will all enhance color. It's just that lighter or darker, different people have different preferences or tolerances for how much light they want coming in that lens. Um, but the typical Maui Jim customer owns four pairs, 
And not by coincidence, we make four different lens colors. So <laughs> any type of weather conditions, we have a lens color for you. So even on cloudy days, you're still exposed to UV, ultraviolet light, but you may not want to wear a dark lens. So that's why we have lighter color lenses that create more contrast for low light days and low light conditions. Right. And, and that, that does make a big difference. And, mm -hmm. you know, most people think, I guess, when you're thinking about sunglasses to knock out the glare. Correct. But mm -hmm. that's just the first step, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it's like I said, I, I'm glad that my eyes are in such good shape and it is because of these extra steps. Mm -hmm. So what, you know, glare does, it's, it's uncomfortable, but glare doesn't really damage your eyes. The stuff that damages your eyes is UV or ultraviolet light. It is invisible to the human eye. Humans can't see in the UV part of the light spectrum. Now, birds and bees can see into UV, but the human eye can't process those wavelengths. So it's invisible and UV also has no temperature. So it's really difficult for us to convince people that they need to protect their eyes from something they cannot see and something they cannot feel. It's invisible, uh, but that's what damages your eyes. So ultimately what we know UV does, the most common uh, ailment, if you will, created by UV is cataracts. And cataracts are the hardening and yellowing of the surface of the eye. So basically your eye creates a callus uh, to protect itself over right. time. Um, the good news is cataract surgery uh, is not as scary as it used to be, but who wants to have that stuff anyway? So what we do and why your eyes are still in good shape, Jim, is because you've been wearing Maui Jim for all those years. So your eye hasn't felt the need to form cataracts to protect them in themselves. So that's what right. it's all about. And also, I, and I think something that a lot of people don't think about is that that sensitive skin around your eyes. Absolutely. You know, you're not getting that beat up and sunburned. Mm -hmm. And this is a your eyelid area. Uh, this is a very common area for skin cancer to form, for melanomas, and especially skin cancer of the lower eyelid. So while your eyes are literally 10 times more sensitive than your skin, this skin here is some of the most sensitive skin on the human body. And so good sunglasses will protect, will act as sunscreen for your eyelids. Because when people put on sunscreen, they stay away from their eyes. So that's why people, if you're not wearing good sunglasses, this is why skin cancer will form down here in this area. Oh yeah, for sure. And like I said, and then that's so, I mean, it's like you get raccoon eyes, yeah. uh, but I mean, that's a good problem to have, you, you know, because you know you are protected. You know, that, uh, those raccoon eyes show people that you're actually intelligent, that you are protecting <laughs> your eyes, you're a smart person. Well, so raccoons are a smart animal, right? Yeah, they're pretty crafty. <laughs> so there you go. I want to shoot through a couple of questions here. Okay. Um, uh, Dave Thompson, Thompson uh, can you get them for, for this is a two parter. So okay. can mm -hmm. you get them for prescription lenses? Yep. Mm -hmm. And if not, ones, if not, ones that go over your glasses, we're not going to do the over your glasses because mm -hmm. those you're, that's what like the 90 year old people wear, right? Yes. Dave, you're way too young for that. <laughs> um, we do make prescription lenses and actually because our lens design is patented and because our, our polarizing film is unique. Um, to us. There are certain things that we don't want to give out to a third party. So that's why my boss went to the expense to spend millions of dollars to build our own prescription lab. So we make our prescription lenses ourselves. So it has the exact same formula recipe as our non-prescription glasses. So our prescription range is plus three all the way to minus 650. That's the parameter range. So, um, what you can do is go to MauiGym.com and go to our dealer locator, click on find a retailer, click the box that says, I need prescription. We'll bring up a list of the eye doctors in your area that can facilitate a Maui Gym prescription. You go in there with your prescription and they will tell you what styles we can put your prescription in. And yeah, we can do curves. We can do curve frames. So we're, it's not just about being a flat pair of glasses like most dress glasses are, they're flat, sunglasses are curved. So we can accommodate a prescription in a curved lens. And it's, and it's yeah, very high tech. That's, that's what I've been wearing, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I think since I turned 40, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I've had to add that prescription <laughs> and went from the basic prescription to now the more bifocal. Um, and I mean, like I said, I, mean, I wear them. I live in sunglasses. Yeah. I mean, the only time I'm not wearing them is in here. And I mean, I guess great news, 
for us as well is mm -hmm. uh, now the ability to do clear lenses. Yeah, we do. Yeah, prescription eyewear. Uh, we do eyeglasses. That's clear. And there's also proprietary technology in our clear lenses. But the the thing that makes our lenses so accurate is we use state-of-the-art technology. So to put a prescription in a curved lens is difficult, but we have an algorithm that figures out how to take your prescription and curve it and make your vision 100% accurate. So that's what it's all about. Didn't, I don't want to misspeak, but didn't you say something about you, even with your clear lenses, you're getting that eye protection as well? Absolutely. So we protect you in both our clear lenses and our sun lenses from the entire UV spectrum. So here's a trick. Not all sunglasses do. They might only, they say, you know, UV protection, but they don't tell you how much UV protection. So there are not many brands out there that protect you with, from UVA, UVB, and UVC. So some will protect you just from UVA, or some will protect you from UVA and a little bit of B. But we want to protect you from all of it, which we do. So it's, it's the most effective way uh, of protecting your eyes. And we have the endorsement of the Skin Cancer Foundation uh, because we do protect your eyes and the skin around your eyes. So that's a, a big deal, too. Maui gems are probably the sunglasses that your eye doctor wears. Right. You know, and, and I mean, let's be honest, they're not cheap. Nope. Uh, you know, they're inexpensive, but I, I, you know, I equate it to a lot of things just like, you know, uh, like for us as a, as a, as me as a kayaker, mm -hmm. you know, people go cheap with a paddle and it's like, you know, this is your motor. This is in your hand all day. Yeah. You know, why go cheap on something that you're using all the time? Mm -hmm. you know, Agreed. Get, get the best ones you can. And if it's protecting your eyes, giving you the ability to see through the water better, uh, mm -hmm. protecting you while you're driving, yeah. Um, I mean, that all makes a huge, huge difference. Yeah. And, you, you know, know, I tell people, what is, what's your vision worth to you? Um, and for most people, they say that uh, their vision, their sight is their most valued sense to them of their senses. So they do want to protect their eyes. So what we've learned working a lot of consumer shows is we've learned, you know, never to prejudge anybody. You know, some guy might come up to us and, you know, at a consumer show and you don't think this guy's going to be interested in buying $200 sunglasses, but it turns out he's a, a truck driver and he, he lives on the interstate driving a huge rig. And he's, he's like, man, my eyes are my life. I want the very best sunglasses that there are. So you, you know, you never prejudge, you ask people the right questions. And <coughs> when we sell to people at places like the Fred Hall shows and Miami boat show and all the different venues, we ask people a lot of questions because we want to make sure we put them in the right lens color and the right lens material for the activity that they're going to do. But no matter the lens color, no matter the lens material, the protection is there for everything we make. Hey, here's an interesting question, uh, Michael Guerrero. Does Maui GM <laughs> offer insurance on lost glasses? You know, um, we bring that up every now and then, but uh, we see it seems to get shot down by all the salespeople. So I'm going to guess the answer to that question is no. Yeah, but, probably because they want to sell more glasses. I, you know, I'm in marketing, <laughs> not in sales. I can only answer for the idea people, not the sales guys. Um, uh, Michael Guerrero has another question. What's best, curved or flat lenses for Got sunglasses? It. Yeah, curves, curves, curves all day long. So when you buy a sunglass, you want that sunglass lens to go from brow bone to cheekbone. So it should be this big and you want it to curve around your eye area. Uh, to protect your eyes on the side. Hopefully you have a frame that has a nice big temple. Um, so with sunglasses, this piece right here, it's not called an ear piece, it's called a temple. So the thicker the temple, the more protection you're gonna get from the side. So especially again, because I live in Florida and I like fishing the flats, you see a lot of flats guys do this if they're not wearing a wide temple because they're trying to really focus in on a spot to see you know, what a fish flash or whatever. So the bigger the temple, the more protection you're going to get for your eye area. So curved lenses, big temples is the best way to go when you're buying sunglasses. Yeah, for sure. Hey, my brother, Roberto Briones, he's one of uh, on the Jackson Kayak Fishing Team with me. Yeah. Uh, I heard Maui Jim is steering away from polycarbonate lenses. Is that true and why? Yes. Uh, we no longer uh, will produce polycarbonate lenses in our non-prescription styles. So... On the food chain of lens materials, while polycarbonate is very lightweight and it's impact resistant, 
The secret is it's impact resistant because it's soft, not because it's strong. So because it's a soft material, it also scratches easily. And in terms of optics, it is the bottom of the food chain. So it's physically impossible to have high definition optics in a polycarbonate lens. Well, at Maui Gym, we live by three words, color, clarity, detail. Our lenses enhance color. We have the clearest lens materials in the optical industry. And we have the most efficient polarizing film, which means it takes away more glare. So you can see the detail underneath the surface of water to perform your task better. So that's the problem with poly. Uh, it's not very clear. It's not very scratch resistant. Um, so your customers aren't happy. So as technology has evolved, we've been able to create newer, better plastics that are still lightweight, that are still impact resistant, but are much more scratch resistant and are much clearer. So again, your eyes have to use less energy to take in more information. And that's what it's about for you guys. It, it frees up more energy for you guys to cast longer and better and more accurately because you're not squinting and straining. Well, yeah, I mean, you gotta think about that. I mean, if you're out in a glary day, uh, I, I know what it's like uh, when I've forgotten my glasses, if yeah. I was when I was driving trucks, mm -hmm. it's so much more fatiguing. Yeah. If you're always having to squint and and kind of look around things, it, it's it makes a big difference in your comfort at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, Michael Guerrero is full of great questions here. <laughs> um, he says, my daughter plays softball. How can Maui gyms help her out? Do they have a type of glasses that can fit her needs? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a collection called Maui Gym Sport. Um, it used to feature and still in some style still does feature uh, polycarbonate lenses, but we've created a new material called Maui Pure. Uh, and it's again, super impact resistant, but much clearer than polycarbonate. So for softball, any sort of activity outside where you're worried about impact, you wanna wear a plastic lens. So one of our sport styles uh, in Maui Pure uh, is the way to go. And you definitely, especially your eye probably gets a lot of damage in your early years. So the earlier you can get your kids into wearing sunglasses, even when they're toddlers, they get used to wearing them. And after a while, you just don't wanna go outside without wearing sunglasses. So remember, you need sunglasses literally every day and getting your kids into sunglasses earlier is a great way to go. Yeah, well, uh, luckily, you know, having worked with Maui Gym for such a long time, I'm able to get a little bit of a deal and <laughs> not so my kids wear. They've been wearing Maui Gyms forever because they spent a lot of time around the pool as a yeah. uh, swim team and water polo players and that sort of thing. And just, mm -hmm. you know, and they were junior lifeguards and everything. So I've always made sure that my kids were in uh, really good quality glasses. Good. Yeah. And, 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 they, and they learned to appreciate them as well. Yeah. Um, the cool part too is the Maui Gym Sport Series is at our lowest price point. Um, and we use really uh, durable nylon frames and impact resistant plastic lenses. So they're lightweight for kids. They're safe for kids. And again, it gets them used to wearing sunglasses and experiencing protection and good optics at the same time. Uh, okay, we've got some great questions here. Uh, wondering if your glasses <laughs> float. No. Yeah, that's another one where the salesman said, nah, let's not make any floating ones. Yeah, so um, first off, that's bad for business. As a matter of fact, um, I like to say that Maui gyms are designed to sink faster than any other sunglass in the world. <laughs> That's job security for me. Um, but no, unfortunately, they don't float. Um, and I kind of don't trust any sunglasses that do because, again, they're going to be using lightweight plastics, which aren't necessarily clear and don't necessarily have all the UV protection that you're going to need. So uh, what I would recommend is, although our glasses ourselves won't float, you can always buy cables or cables other retainers. Yeah, cables are great because they don't corrode um, and you can take them on and off your glasses. So if you don't wanna wear your cables, you can just pop them right off, but that way you're not gonna lose them overboard. Um, and there are some people out there that make little floaty whatever. So um, right. Right. just take them off before you uh, go and out I in public. I'll say, I'll say this, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. people do crash in the surf and, and lose glasses. Yeah, I get if you it. Get a good fitting pair. For me, they never budge. Yeah. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I can bend over and everything and over the side of the boat and over the side of my kayak and everything, and, and they stay put. Yeah. This is and, kind of an interesting question from Scott Calkins. Okay. 
I've heard great things about these glasses. I have a very odd nose structure from a car accident. Uh -huh. Can you move the nose pads to fit? Absolutely. So we make styles with just a regular standard bridge, and we make a lot of styles like this that have what we call external adjustable nose pads. So you can certainly move them um, in or out to accommodate um, different changes in your bridge structure. Um, so we make a lot of styles. So I think people don't realize you go into certain stores and they might only carry 24 styles. At Maui Gym, we have 160 styles wow. and over 500 options. Um, but some stores only carry a small amount. So you don't realize how many different styles and fashion frames and sport, sport frames that we actually make. So go to MauiGym.com and check out glasses. And again, there's also a dealer locator there. And we rank our dealers by how many styles they carry. So we'll tell you, this dealer has 54 styles in stock right now. So we want to send you to a place that has a nice um, varied display of glasses so that you can pick stuff for sports and stuff for dress. And, and you were telling me, you stuff. were saying at that meeting that a, a large percentage of your original dealers were um, doctors. Yeah. So it's interesting. You you look at other people's dealer locators and surf shops and tackle stores and, you know, department stores and stuff like that. But when you go to Maui Gym, you look at our dealer list, it's doctor, 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 doctor. Eye doctors love this lens because of the protection factor. Um, so that should tell you something right there. Like I said, this is probably the sunglass that your eye doctor wears um, because of the protection factor. But that eye doctors wear that, everything. This is actually going to bring up the next question from uh -huh. uh, my buddy Fred York. Mm -hmm. Why would my optician tell me that curved lenses are damaging? He says that the greater the curve, the more they distort. Same as in camera lenses, basically every lens. Thoughts? Well, I would totally disagree with that. So when we curve a lens, we, we automatically, and by law, we're required to do this, we have to do something called induce prism. And what that means is that there won't be distortion in a curved lens. So I would say for a low-end, inexpensive curved lens that you're buying from the drugstore or a gas station, your optician is correct. We have to work within uh, the dictates of the Food and Drug Administration and uh, you know all these different organizations around the world because this is considered a medical device. It's a personal, uh, personal protective equipment. We have to answer to a lot of different agencies. We wouldn't sell it if there was distortion or if it wasn't safe. So <coughs> your optician is right in one sense and actually um, not right in another. Um, but that's part of why our glasses cost what they cost is because we have to create technology to make curved lenses work. But right. we do, believe me, we do. Um, Martin says, uh, thanks for the reply for kayaking, Jim, what would you recommend and what is the price? Well, honestly, I can't really recommend because we're all different. Our faces mm -hmm. are different. Our, you know, our vision needs are different. Mm -hmm. So the best thing to do is to get into a shop, um, here in San Diego, uh, Dana landing market mm -hmm. is tackle shop. Uh, they yeah. have a huge range of glasses. Yeah. He's a so big just basically get in there and try the different ones on, make sure they fit right. Uh, make sure that, you know, that your eyelashes aren't rubbing the the lens because there's, mm -hmm. you know, nothing will dirty up your lens faster than that. Mm -hmm. um, so, and as far as the price goes, there's, there is a, I mean, there are higher end glass for sure. And mm -hmm. because mine are prescription, they are definitely more expensive. So, you know, the best thing is, like I said, is, is to go out there and try some on and see which one fits you the best. I, I mean, I, I can't really say which one is going to be the best. Mm -hmm. But as a kayaker, particularly if you're doing the surf launches and landing, definitely invest in those uh, cables, mm -hmm. uh, it, particularly if, you're, if you haven't perfected your surf launch and landing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, you know, um, and that also leads to the, uh, the conversation about lens material. So we make uh, different plastic lenses, but at Maui Gym, our heart, our love is glass lenses because glass is the ultimate lens material to wear on salt water. Glass is harder to scratch, easier to clean, and the optics stay true forever. So that's why we still make so many styles in glass in big wrapped curved frames because a lot of our kayakers, anglers, boat captains love the way glass performs on salt water. So um, 
So some people, if you're on fresh water a lot, you can wear glass certainly, but it's also, if you're not worried about scratching because of salt in the water, then you're perfectly fine to wear a plastic lens as well. And again, our lenses are more scratch resistant. Um, well, you yeah, can wear it, plastic on the water, but we recommend glass. Yeah, for sure. And, and I think a lot of people don't really think about that. They just think of water as water. Yeah. But that, that water dries and then you've got salt crystals on there and then you go to wipe them off and you're you very quickly can scratch up your lenses. And so yep. the glass is so, so much tougher. Yeah. Um, doesn't Maui Gym also have a, a coating to uh, repel the water and the oils and such? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a, a scratch resistant coating or we call it a treatment. Uh, it's called clear shell. So that's on the front and back of the Maui Gym non-glass lenses. And then we seal the lens on both sides with a hydrophobic oleophobic treatment. So hydrophobic, it's so it acts like Rain-X. So you put Rain-X on your car windshield, makes the water drip off easily. So we have that effect. But oleophobic, because of the grease and oil and sunscreen, it makes it easier to get the grease prints like from your cheekbones and you know, like smudges from fingerprints, it makes it easier to wipe them off of the lens. So, and it acts as another layer of scratch resistance too. So um, we try to think of all the coatings and treatments we can put on the lenses to make them more scratch resistant and just easier to maintain. Can you, um, can you touch on a little bit on the importance of the, the back of the lens? Yeah, it's a great question, and it's kind of one of those areas that goes unnoticed. So when you look at the front of a Maui gym, we have either a couple different mirror treatments, and the mirrors are not just for looks. They actually perform a job. The mirrors reflect light. Um, so the mirrors reflect light. But on the inside of the lens, we have a different treatment. It's called anti-reflective treatment. We use nine layers or nine stacks of this treatment. And what it does is it absorbs light from behind you. So light you're not thinking about, we think about. So think about this. You're driving home from work and the sun is setting behind you. Or, um, and so light might come in the side of your lens and bounce into your eye. Well, this treatment on the inside will absorb that light. So you can take a Maui Gym off the rack, look at the front of the lens and you can see your reflection but turn it over and on the inside of the lens where this anti-reflective treatment is, there's no reflection. So it's very soothing to your eye. So we're blocking light from above and below on the front of the lens and we're absorbing light from behind on the back of the lens. I, I don't, I've got a question here from Rich Wilcox and I, I, <laughs> I don't even know. Are the glasses eco-friendly? Well, um, there are some lenses. Um, we actually own another brand called Zeal out of Boulder, Colorado. And our Zeal brand are made of renewable resources. So castor bean oil. And uh, we have frames made out of cotton uh, seeds. So they will, you know, could potentially dissolve in ocean water and not leave a harmful uh, fingerprint on the environment, if you will. Um, but at this stage, um, our glasses, uh, we do make cellulose propanate frame, which, uh, frames, which are also cotton based, uh, but uh, they are eco-friendly in the sense that when you put them on, the world is a much more beautiful place. So how about that? <laughs> And that's, it's very true. Okay. It, the world, I always say the world looks better through Maui gyms. I hope so. I it, think so. <laughs> it, it does make a, a huge difference. And, and that's why I've always been such a, a fan and a, a proponent of people wearing them. Awesome. Uh, we got a comment from Dave Thompson saying, this is a great show, Jim. Oh, thanks, uh, Michael yeah. Guerrero, Stacy, your knowledge is great. You should be in sales. <laughs> You know, I think my boss might feel exactly the same way. I might be transferred over to Maui Gym Sales any day now. Who knows? Oh, <laughs> but you're so good at this. I mean, and you, you spend so much time on the road. I mean, people think I'd spend a lot of time on the road. I mean, trying to nail you down because you're, you're, I mean, you're at fishing events. You're at golfing events. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you are always somewhere teaching people about this, the products. Yeah, that's that's the evangelism, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Thanks for keeping us all up to speed, not just on eye protection, but on other products that works for kayak or for fishermen. Yeah, that's why I'm doing these. I just trying to keep everybody, uh, you know, informed. And, and I, I have enjoyed I enjoy doing these and I learn a lot from them. Um, I'm going to bring up. Uh, let's see if I can do this in a way that 
looks a little I don't know which one's going to make more sense. There we go. So I brought up the uh, the Maui Gym page there, and um, I wanted to show people this, mm -hmm. which is the My Maui. Um, what, what exactly is going on here with My Maui? So we've introduced, uh, this is a customization program. So a lot of people would ask, hey, do you make this frame you know, with the blue mirrored lens, the blue Hawaii lens. And we don't, we got so many requests for stuff and people were coming up with infinite possibilities. So we said, we may not make it that way stock or originally, <laughs> but if you want us to put a particular lens in a particular frame, we'll do it. So that's what my Maui is. And here's the cool part. You can do it through a Maui gym dealer, or you can do it through Maui gym.com. And there is no additional cost. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So we'll just switch frame and lens color for you, no problem, and no additional cost. And then for people in my age group, um, as we get a little older and we need help reading, we can do My Maui Readers for you. So we can put a little cheater, a little reader uh, on the bottom of the lens, and that's at an additional $40. So we can... Okay, so so if somebody doesn't want to invest, if somebody doesn't want to invest in the full prescription and just wants to add some readers in there, uh -huh. they can go to um, my Maui and, and add readers to any of the styles. Yep, You're, and, it's so, called and, Maui I mean, Readers Plus. So and I mean, I mean that'd, be a, that'd be a really good option, I think, for some of the guys who maybe just need that little bit of extra help for tying knots while they're fishing and stuff, but don't actually need a full prescription. Absolutely, yep, and it's a great option. So what we do is we put the reader down low on the lens and we put it basically right down in this area so you still have your peripheral you still have all of this unencumbered and you just have the reading area down low where you need it because you typically you use a reader when you're sitting in a reclined position in the sun because a lot of people read when they go to the beach or they're sitting by the pool or you just need that small magnification area to tie a knot or to read a menu at an outdoor restaurant or something, but you still have maximum distance viewing and you've still got all of your peripheral. So I'm looking, I'm looking at the, my reader uh, segment on the website right okay. now. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll actually put that back up. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking at a pair of glasses. Uh -huh. um, how noticeable is that? I mean, it doesn't even look like you can see the reader segment. Yeah. Is it actually noticeable? Right. Well, it's hidden because we put the readers in one of our bi-gradient mirrors. So the bottom mirror hides the reader. So people have no idea that you're even wearing a reader. So that's, it's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I, very I successful. Had, yeah, I hadn't had a chance to um, see that. So we make the readers in three different strengths. So we have... 1.5 or 150, two and 250. So this means one and a half times magnification, two times magnification, or two and a half times magnification. So those are the three strengths that they're available in. Now, <coughs> let's say that you're a 175 or you're a 225. We'll put you, we'll bump you up to a, a two or a 250 because your eye will appreciate the extra magnification while you're wearing a darker lens. It's not gonna hurt you, uh, but because you're wearing a darker lens, a little more magnification, your eye's gonna appreciate that. Gotcha. Hey, Roberto has another question. How long do the hydro oleophobic protection last when it comes to uh, cleaning and wiping? And it, I mean, can you wear that stuff off? Well, uh, the it's sealed onto the lens material. It should last forever, hopefully. However, great question because when you clean a Maui gym or any sun lens, any lens, even in regular eyeglasses, you should never use Windex or any of those products on there. So if you need to use soap, we recommend Dawn dishwashing detergent because that does help to repel grease. Um, but the, because of the lens is sealed, just warm water and cloth is enough. So never use any products with ammonia or alcohol in them and always use cloth, never use paper, no napkins, no paper towels on any type of lens material. You can always tell that somebody is wiping off their lenses with paper. When you look at them up close, if they're scratched in a circle, it's because they've uh -huh. taken their thumb and they use 
paper, paper towel, whatever. And the reason why paper can scratch a lens is that it's made of ground down wood. Well, there might still be microscopic little bits of wood are still enough to scratch a lens surface. So no Kleenex, no napkins, no paper towels. Um, T-shirts are fine, pillowcases, washcloths, anything like that, but microfiber. And we the, the, I buy these microfiber towels in bulk at Costco. Yeah. Yep. And I've always got them in my bag. Mm -hmm. uh, these things clean my glasses better than anything I've ever used. Yep. And the secret to that is you want to throw your microfiber cloth in the washing machine every once in a while, but let it air dry. Don't put it in the dryer with like a fabric softener because oh, that, yeah. that removes the absorbency from the fabric. So if you're out on your kayak or on your boat, you're on salt water, you got splashed by a wave, you want to clean your lenses. What I want you to do is first, I want you to just take your hand and rub your hand on the lens. Let the grease and oil in your skin uh, pull the grit off of the lens. Then I want you to take, reach in your cooler uh, and maybe take a piece of ice and put a couple of droplets of fresh water on your lens and kind of rinse your lens off. Then wipe it clean with a dry cloth. And that's, you don't need anything fancy. Uh, that's just enough, but no chemicals and cloth and water. That's all you need. That's a good point. Cause I've seen a lot of people cleaning their glasses with, like you said, like with Windex and stuff. Uh, I've no. tend to, I've always used, um, if I, if, if they've gotten really oily, mm -hmm. then I've used, um, uh, like you said, dishwashing liquid uh -huh. and, and that works really well. But honestly, just using some water and that microfiber um, towel, my Maui gym just clean up so well. Awesome. Perfect. Um, Sean Russell has a question. What warranty do they come with? Okay. Well, we have a, uh, all your Maui gyms come with a warranty card. And uh, so we have a two year warranty against defects and breakage. However, uh, we're pretty liberal about it. So we don't have a lifetime warranty. Um, however, we do have basically kind of a lifetime service plan. So remember, this is called a temple. We will replace temples for free forever as long as we have the parts. So even if we have a style that we've discontinued, we have parts on hand for styles that we don't even make anymore. So we replace temples for free forever. Even if your dog has chewed on your temples, we will replace those temples for free because we're dog lovers at Maui Gym. <laughs> and then we also will replace nose pads for free. So um, on your Maui Gym, inside your temple, we put the style name. And uh, so you can call us up and say, hey, listen, um, I have a Maui Gym. This new style is called Shoal. So, hey, I've got a Maui Gym Shoal and I lost my nose pads. Will you send me new nose pads? We'll put nose pads in an envelope and mail them right to your house. Because you don't need to send these in. These nose pads just slide right on. So we'll do that kind of stuff. You, you don't need to send them into a service center to replace nose pads. Uh, but you can call us up. We'll give you new nose pads. Or you can send your glasses in. Uh, we do not res um, replace lenses for free. We charge you for new lenses. So it's $75 plus shipping. We'll sell you brand new Maui Gym lenses then we'll go ahead and inspect your frame. If your temple is beat up, we'll go ahead and swap out the temples while we have your styles. And we'll say, oh, those nose pads are a little old, let's put new nose pads in. So a lot of customers say, wow, Maui Jim sent me a whole new pair of glasses. We probably didn't. We just replaced the parts that needed to be replaced. So good customer service is just as important to us as all the technology that we put in our lenses. And that's why Maui Jim customers are repeat customers because we take good care of them. Yeah, no, no doubt. And, and it's funny because somebody had just asked this question right before you answered it. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you know, what I was going to ask you is, is people might be interested is, you know, because we haven't really I uh, plan on talking about this at the beginning and just kind of just step over. What can you give us a little history of Maui Gym? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we are from Maui and the Maui Gym sunglass lenses are designed to deal with the harshness of the Hawaiian sun. Um, so the company is actually founded in 1986 and um, it was just kind of a little company in Hawaii. And um, the original owners were interested in technology. And uh, my boss, our owner, Walter, had moved to Maui to be a charter boat captain. So he's an avid angler and uh, just kind of stumbled upon these sunglasses and thought they were really cool. And he ended up buying the company. And then Walter is um, a really interesting guy and kind of curious. So he ended up 
doing different things with the technology to get the lens to where he wanted it to be. So he is still our chief designer and our, you know, our owner. And so we started from a little sunglass company that started selling off of kiosks on the beach in Kanapali in, in Maui to now we have 17 distribution centers around the globe <coughs> and we're still owned by Walter. And that's the really cool part. And he's the guy who thinks up the technology and makes it happen. So, um, gosh, we probably have, uh, you know, a lot of employees around the world, um, maybe a thousand or so. So we're still small, but we're bigger. And like I said, we're a global brand. So we have uh, distribution centers in Australia and France and Canada and China and Hong Kong and Dubai and all over Europe. And uh, it's just really cool. And I've worked for Walter for 20 years. And when I started working for Walter, we only made glass lenses. We only had two lens colors, gray and bronze. And we, um, we had basically two dozen styles. And now here we are 20 years later with distribution centers. And now we make clear lenses and multiple patents on our technology. And it's just really cool. And we embrace our Hawaiian heritage. It's not just a marketing gimmick. Our home is truly in Lahaina. I'll be in the Lahaina office next week. And it's really cool. It, we embrace the culture. Part of the Hawaiian culture is, is the concept of aloha. And aloha to us means good customer service. So we have to have the technology to deal with Hawaiian sun. And we take our Hawaiian heritage and embrace people with a good customer service too. And where did the name come from? Well, Maui Jim, Jimmy is Walter's pet bird. So that's why when you look at all of our marketing materials, even the nose pads, if you have a pair of Maui Jims with a clear nose pad, you see a little bird. Well, that bird is Jimmy and that's Walter's pet macaw. He's a Harlequin macaw and he lives uh, at Walter's house in Maui. And uh, so that's Jimmy. So hence the name Maui Jim. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's on everything the, the, yeah. <laughs> the, the parrot is on all on everything. And uh, that's how you recognize them. Actually, somebody had a, a question here. Actually, Michael Guerrero. Man, you're, Michael, you are so full of great questions today. Um, he is asking, how can you tell a fake pair of Maui Jims to an authentic pair? Is there a problem with fake pairs? I mean, um, are they we actually don't have that problem. Um, early on, we uh, uh, did we educational seminars with Customs and Border Patrol. And so we taught them to how to spot uh, you know, what's authentic about a Maui Jim. But first and foremost, we put Maui Jim on, every, um, on the right lens of every style. So the upper left-hand corner will have the Maui Jim logo on it. Um, because we made only glass lenses for the longest time, you could always spot a fake pair of Maui Jims because if it wasn't glass, <laughs> you know, it wasn't a Maui Jim. But now we're doing the different plastics. Um, but we truly don't have a piracy problem. Um, and our product is made in Italy and Japan. So because we don't farm it out to other factories, um, we haven't had a real issue um, to my knowledge. Um, so that's one advantage that we have over other brands is that our stuff isn't made in countries where piracy is, is an issue. Uh, Roberto Briona has, uh, has another question. I have to send two sunglasses for service repair. I live in Canada. Is there a warranty service center in Canada or do I have to send them to the USA? Absolutely. So Roberto, we are, our warranty center in Canada is in Mississauga. And here's what's really cool. So every Maui Gym distribution center around the world, we have repair techs in every office. So if you can get to our distribution center, we will actually do repairs while you wait. So Mississauga is a suburb of Toronto, and uh, it's actually about 20 minutes from the Toronto airport. So um, you, if you go to the back of, of a Maui Gym consumer brochure, or you can go to our website, and uh, look up Maui Gym Canada. We'll have the physical address and, or you can call our office or email Maui Gym and we will give you the address and phone number of the Maui Gym facility where you live. So um, for a lot of our folks that go back and forth um, who live in Mexico uh, or uh, in Australia, we have Maui Gym offices there. So um, I know that's because you have a lot of saltwater anglers <coughs> who, who do kayak um, if, if they're, uh, watching your show and they live there, we have facilities there. So you don't have to send it back to the USA. And even if you bought them in another country, you can get them fixed anywhere where there's a Maui gym office. 
That's amazing. Yeah. And if you have to send them in, when you read other people's warranties, they'll tell you, okay, send them in for repair. It'll take four to six weeks. At Maui Gym, three to five days. Really? The turnaround is that fast? Absolutely. We want to get them back to you as quickly as possible. Uh, but do us a favor. Make sure if you have to send your glasses in to a Maui Gym facility, make sure you include your name, address, and phone number inside with the glasses. I can't tell you how many times people send in glasses and forget to give us that information. So we will hold the box to the side and it's getting, you know, got postmarked Dallas, Texas or something. People <laughs> call up and say, uh, I never got my sunglasses back. Okay. Where do you live? Well, I live in Dallas. Did you send us a <coughs> whole keep a style with a black frame? Yeah, I sure did. Yep. We've got them. <laughs> so it does happen. So let us know who you are and where you live. And uh, if there's any issues that it gives us a way to get in touch with you. Very, that's very cool. Uh, Rylan Nolan, uh, if ever in Maui, visit a kiosk. They allow you to demo them. Awesome customer service. Um, yeah, those guys are great. Yeah, and, and all the kiosks. At, uh, at Kanapali Beach, you know, all the different hotels will have Maui gym kiosks and they'll let you try out the different lens colors and stuff. And uh, I think that 1.3 mile stretch of beach at Kanapali, that is the most productive mile uh, for Maui gym sales, I think on planet earth. We saw some <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Um, is there, I mean, like I said, you, you said there's, um, I, I can't remember now. You said there's uh, four col lens colors. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is there an advantage to one color versus another at different times, different places, different situations? Um, it's it's really up to the consumer. Um, again, certain people uh, have different tolerances or preferences, so they want a darker lens. So typically, if you have light colored eyes and, and light colored skin, you're gonna be more light sensitive, so you might prefer a darker lens. Now, our gray lens in glass is the darkest you can legally make a sunglass lens. And I hate it because <laughs> it's too dark for me. But gray is our best selling lens color um, because so many people prefer a gray lens because it does darken a lot of light. So four lens colors. So gray is our darkest lens. Then Maui Rose is our next lightest lens. Then HCL Bronze, uh, which is a yellow based lens. And, and bronze and rose are awesome for all day, just you know, all day wear, all weather conditions. We consider them all weather lenses. Now, Maui HT is our newest lens color. HT stands for high transmission. It lets in more usable light, but not more dangerous light. So it has a higher transmission. So it's, we actually designed it for golf because it creates more contrast within the color green itself, which makes it easier to read putts. Um, but it's also a great lens for early morning fishing or skiing or late in the day. It's great for cloudy days. But again, I live in Florida. I wear that lens all the time, even on full sunny days. And even though I have light colored eyes, I just love what that lens does for me. So um, typical Maui Gym customer owns a couple different lens colors for different light conditions, um, but they're all gonna protect you. They're all fully polarized and um, and they're just you know great for whatever condition you need them to be in. Right. And, and like I said, I mean, I love those HT lenses, you know, San Diego, typical, you know, night and morning, low clouds, you know, kind of foggy. Yeah. But, but you still have that glare and you still have that that UV. I mean, and, and you can still if I put on my gray lenses in which I, I have several that are gray and I and I do mm -hmm. like them in the really bright situations. But those HTs for for those early mornings, late evenings, cloudy days. And believe me, if anybody watches my show, you know it rains on me everywhere I go. <laughs> so you know, I wear those a lot. And it really, really is a phenomenal, phenomenal lens. Um, so, you know, when we talk about UV, so uh, NOAA, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, which is a government agency, and um, the Environmental Protection Agency, um, so many different entities do daily UV index reports. And the FDA will tell you, you need to start wearing sunglasses when UV level is at a two. And a two is a cloudy, drizzly day. So even on cloudy days, they're telling you, you need to wear sunglasses to protect your eyes. So that's why another reason why we make different lens colors. Yeah, and uh, different uh, reflective 
you know, the, the blue, um, yeah. I've been wearing those lately and I yeah. uh, really like the way those look. And, and, um, I mean, that's, that's the, my, the, my newest pair has that. And yeah. I really, really like those. So I'm, yeah, I'm with you. I really like this. The secret behind this lens is that a blue mirror actually pushes away blue light. So even though there's a gray lens inside this frame, it, it feels much lighter and brighter than a typical gray lens because we're automatically pushing away the blue light with the blue mirror. Now we make a pink mirror as well. Um, and so that makes things seem a little bit more greenish because pink and green are opposite or complementary colors. But Jim, you're going to see you and your viewers are the very first people in the world to see this is our brand new lens and it is called Maui green. And so this is a green mirrored lens again, on a gray, a green mirror on a gray lens. And um, the opposite to green is kind of a purplish sensation. So again, creates contrast when you look through this lens. This is coming out in early August and you guys are the very first to see Maui Green, which is our newest colored mirror. That's, I'm so excited about it. That is super cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, those look great. And those are, um, Again, with, with the My Maui, people can put any lens, anything in any frame they want. Yeah, so we'll mix and match for you, dude. So you can be the only person on planet Earth to wear a certain lens color with a certain frame style. So the customization program is awesome, much more personal. That's fantastic. Ro Roberto's asking me to come to Ottawa earlier than September. I'm scheduled to go <laughs> to visit him in Ottawa in September because we need rain. Everybody always wants me to go and bring rain. I, I, I can do it. Too. I've got that. Um, just to be clear, are all of Maui Jim glasses polarized? Absolutely. All Maui Jims are polarized. We own our own polarizing film. It's considered the most efficient polarizing film in the world, which is the term we use to describe how much glare, uh, they absorb. So we have the most efficient polarizing film in the world. Nobody else has it. And that's reason number one, why people put on Maui Jims and go, wow, because we get rid of all the glare. It's really cool. Yeah, they, like I said, if, if, you, if anybody out there has the opportunity, and like I said, visit uh, an optician or a, a retailer that has them, uh, or bum some off a friend that has them, you know, you, you got to put them on to really, really appreciate how much better they are than the other glasses out there. And, and that's why I really want to do this. I mean, you can put them on and go, okay, they're better, but, you know, I appreciate you being here and kind of explaining what Maui Jim has done to make them better. Yeah. And, you know, and like, as you said, they do cost more, but they cost more because we invest in quality components to make these lenses and people appreciate that. And that's why they're loyal because they like what they see when they look through a Maui Jim. Yep. Like I said, the world looks better through Maui Jim's. <laughs> Stacy, can you believe it? Darn near. I mean, we're just shy of an hour right now. Wow. Um, I mean, it, it flew by and really thank you so much. And thank you everybody for so many great questions yeah. today. I mean, the, the questions were fantastic. Yeah, they really um, were. Stacy, you told me that we might be able to give away uh, something here for, and what we're, we'll do is I'll go through later and we'll, we'll put these in a randomizer and pick out somebody to, to get something. But you think we got some glasses or something we can give away? I think we can uh, come up with some uh, a pair of Maui Jim sunglasses and some Maui Jim swag for one of your dedicated viewers. Awesome. I really appreciate that. And again, such, I mean, I knew you would be awesome because I've sat through your presentations a couple of times. And even though I've heard the same presentation almost, you know, with upgrades to the new products, it's never boring because it, it you, you just know this product so well and make it entertaining. And I, I really, really do appreciate it. And I appreciate, you know, you bringing me on with Maui Jim, whatever, 18 years ago, <laughs> whatever it was. Um, it was like yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we were at Cow Palace in oh San gosh, Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it was when I first met you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. But yeah. That whole I mean, show many years ago. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So anyway, Stacy, I know you are a very, very busy woman. And I, I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to, to be here with me today. And uh, I'm uh, sure we'll be talking soon and I will, I'll shoot you over the winners when we, uh, when I pick those later on, awesome. uh, it might be tomorrow. Actually, what I'm going to do is because we do get a lot of people to watch the replay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to give some people some chance who watch the replay to type in replay so we know they've been watching and they've participated. And if they do that, they will be included in uh, the drawing for the win. 
So they don't necessarily have to have watched it live. If you watch it uh, um, in the replay, we will give you that chance. Michael Guerrero, tell Stacy I said she rocks. Aww. Thanks, Stacey, Michael. You- Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, Stacy, I'm going to drop you out of here. Thanks again awesome. so much, and I'll, I'll be talking to you soon. Right on. Aloha. Aloha. Mahalo. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us again. That was awesome. We had a great time. And, and again, so many Just fantastic questions by everybody. I really do appreciate it. Um, Again, I'll be doing the drawing later on, uh, probably tomorrow, and um, I will let you guys know. Um, Anyway, so again, as always, if you are going out on your kayak, please always wear your PFD and hold your paddle right side up. You take care.